Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. My name is John and today we will be reviewing another ramen noodle. And today we are going to be further venturing into the brand of Nong Shim, which is a Korean brand. So their ramen is actually Ramyun or Ramyun. And I have done a few of theirs before. Uh, specifically in their Shin varieties. Of course, they have the original Shin, which comes in a red and black package. They have the Shin Black, which is labeled as a premium version. And I've also tried the Shin Super Spicy, which was um, a UK slash potentially European um, variety only available there. Um, but it also came in a red package. Somehow it's called shin so i've heard it just called shin red uh or shin spicy the label says shin super spicy anyway there's more that i have not tried uh, if you go to the ramen raiders website he's got a definitive list of all the shin varieties including like an onion variety and a shrimp variety that i think is only available in china but here in the united states we've recently got two new flavors that as far as i know are only available here in the United States or North America. Maybe Canada has it. Who knows? Anyway, the first variety which I'm going to be trying for you today is this Shin Gold. Um, the gold, I assume, is because of chicken broth. It's typically a golden color. But anyway, inside this, you have your noodle block. You have your uh, flakes, which consist of what I've seen as carrot, peas, and what I think is dehydrated egg bits. It could potentially be something else. Um, the dried flakes have onion, carrot, red chili, garlic, peas, um, corn protein, soy protein. So maybe it's not eggs, but it's just there to kind of look like egg. Oh, wait. Scrambled egg flakes, egg white, corn starch, wheat flour. So there is some egg white in there. There's also anchovy, beef broth extract, chicken bone extract, beef fat and chicken fat. Um, so typically shin is a beef flavor. So it looks like they're not taking away from the original shin but they are adding chicken flavor to it as well, which uh, could explain why there's two seasoning packets. You had the red seasoning packet and the golden or yellowish seasoning packet. This one was like more of a spicy flavor to it. This one tasted mostly just like a straight up chicken flavor. And here I have it presented in this bowl. Um, I've added some stuff to this, but I am going to try it from the section I have not added anything to. But you can see I have some runny eggs, some mushrooms, some chili crisp, some green onions. I also chopped up some jalapeno slices as well, just to kick up the spice level even more. But first we're going to go in. I'm going to taste from this section that I've added nothing to. I'm only going to be tasting the noodles and some of the soup. And letting you know what I think. Here we go. I let these noodles cook for about four to four and a half minutes. See some of the soup at the bottom. It takes 500 milliliters of soup for this. Which seems like a lot it's more than two cups but after everything was done there really wasn't like a ton of soup in here let's try that out hmm. so before i mix any of the stuff in here it's actually got a decent amount of spice to it already um shin if you've had it before does have a spiciness to it 
you look at it, it's not really like labeled <clears throat> as spicy at all. But every variety I've had is at least somewhat spicy. The super spicy one, even extra. Let's go ahead and try some of the little bits that it came with. It has like a green pea. Tastes like a dehydrated, rehydrated green pea. Got some carrot. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Here's like the the fake eggy bit. Really chewy. It has an egg flavor to it. Alright, let's get like a, a decent sized bite with a bunch of stuff in it. It's definitely like a spicy. There is a chicken flavor to it, but you also have that beef flavor that's kind of competing for, for center stage there. So if you would get this, don't expect it to just be 100% only chickeny, because there is beef in it, there's also anchovy in it, um, but it doesn't taste fishy at all. Typically when you add anchovy to something, it just elevates the umami and richness of a, of a dish. Let me get some of my, uh, my runny egg. And this uh, Malgan La Chili Crisp is really going to amp up everything. That also has some MSG in there as well as some spice and some crunch. Jalapenos and mushrooms and egg yolk mixed up in there. Oh, I have green onion here that I chopped up as well. Not sure if I mentioned that. All right, let's go ahead and taste it now. I mean, you add a spoonful of chili crisp to any basic ramen, it's going to kick it up a lot. Definitely tasty. When I got some jalapeno slices in there. Mm. Nice punch of spice there. That's tasty. I'm going to enjoy this one. And uh, as far as how Shin Ramyun goes, I like this one. It does taste like a, a shin black, but then like you added some chicken flavor to it. It's not like you took away anything from the original shin black. Uh, you just added this chicken flair to it as well. And it's tasty, and it goes well with everything I put in there. Shin gold. Currently, I know that it's only available in Kroger and Kroger-owned stores. Um, so if you're like me into the Chicagoland area, the Kroger-owned stores would be a Food for Less or a Mariano's. Um, I've actually got this, the Shin Gold, from a Food for Less. However, the next one, the other Shin variety uh, that I'm going to be re re reviewing, I got from a Mariano's. So... Um, and I looked for both of them in both places. I just found one there and one in the other place. But they both were listed as available in both of them. It was just sold out. The green was sold out at Food for Less and the gold was sold out at the Mariano's. But I got lucky enough to get both of them on di two different trips. But anyway, that's it for this video. Shin Gold, Nong Shim, out of Korea. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to finish my lunch here and enjoy it. Mm. Mm.
two thumbs up. But I'll catch you next time on another exciting episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.